Hello and welcome everyone to this Warcraft replay. This is going to be the second game of this best three series. Uh, I'm not really doing well with this at all. There's more games coming out than I am actually recording videos. It's just that it seems like recording videos is so tiresome and then you get lazy and then you do something else. It might just be me, but um, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, Focus versus Loliet in this particular matchup. Uh, I believe the winner of the first game was Focus, so yeah, he has the opportunity to, uh, to actually finish the series off. Um, if you have not watched him versus Yumiko, probably should. That is probably the only series I have uploaded so far, unless I upload things in different orders, then that doesn't really matter. Altar of Storms nearly completed. We would probably see a Blade Master come out. Always a strong pick. Um, always the most reliable pick. Um, whether it's good or bad, some people view it as bad because it's just so monotonous, I guess. Demon Hunter versus Blade Master. Did Loliet? E. Now I'm trying to remember if Loliet actually lost. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he actually lost. Um, Mass dots just did not work out so well. Either way, Peon uh, is going to scout this close spawn right here, which m people might consider, or at least most might consider, it disadvantageous because Night Elf early game is just so weak, and Orc is probably one of the strongest races early on. Um, I guess behind humans a little bit. So yeah, this is this might be a little difficult for Loliet, especially since he is going to go for that Ancient War creeping. Despite actually creeping out efficiently, he is not going to get out his early units. And with that Demon Hunter, how should I say it, I guess, Demon Hunter can't really deal with the early Orc units so early on. And the Blade Master is actually going to move out here. Was a little late on trying to get a couple of jacks, so... Yep, he's just going to go straight for the Scarlet Merchant. Probably, he could probably go after a, the Tome Trapper. And, well, no, he's going to go straight for the Ogre Magi as the double warriors cannot actually attack the Blade Master. And the Demon Hunter actually is going to spot this over here, but doesn't really want to go um, into this a little bit. And he is actually going to draw the aggro of the Ogre Warriors. Blade Master is taking a lot of damage, however, and, uh, Circlet has been picked up, Watch Award has been used, not the best place, but considering the Demon Hunter was here, um, I guess he just really needed to get that as quickly as possible. Windwalker is going to expire and does not look like he is going to strike the Demon Hunter. It doesn't look like Focus might uh, is going to go for any early cheese, and I guess that's just more conservative play. The Blade Master is going to follow this Demon Hunter to this Ogre Warrior camp. Disappearance right there, actually going to be spotting that Archer. Um, but the capability of that Blade Master killing off that Archer is not really that high. Especially with that Mana Burn. Um, no more Windwalks will be able to be coming out for the Blade Master. Blade Master got prepped Vitality from this Ogre camp. And this watch award not really the best, as I said before. Looks like the uh, focus is going to go for his own turtle camp. His tier two is halfway completed. Um, Loliet is also the same. So I guess it's just it's just going to rely on the on the mid game, I guess. Plus six claws has been picked up from the ogre warrior. The blade mask is going to probably go for his own Ogre Warrior, or is he going to go straight for his Watcher Camp? It is going to be the Watcher Camp. Cloak of Shadows has been picked up from the Turtle Camp, and he's going to go straight after this Ogre Magi. Um, I mean, he could probably just pull it out over here, but seeing as it is a close spawn, it wouldn't be that likely for um, Loliet to actually come out over here so, f so far away. Blade Master is going to dust, and he's going to dust the Demon Hunter, which is a little surprising. Uh, the Grunt will probably be taken down. Dust Appearance has no, or 
has fully been used. Oof, Loliot, not sure why he moved that archer, but luckily Focus was not able to capitalize on that. Really needs to be careful, Blade Master cannot be finished off with a mana burn, uh, but I wouldn't risk the life of the Blade Master one bit. The archer has revealed itself, but I don't think the Blade Master is actually going to be too focused on that. Instead, the Demon Hunter needs to be the one that's, or needs to be the one to be careful. They would go with the Cloak of Shadows. Generally, why people take or keep that item during nighttime because of things like that. Um, however, situations with you know your opponent just camps, that kind of screws you over. So I'm not sure if this is really worth it to focus. Even though he might actually keep his Blade Master alive, he's used about four charges of his healing salve. And salves are not that cheap. They are a hundred gold each. And you know, hundred gold is pretty vital early on. We do have the orc regenerative uh, upgrades on the way, as well as plus hundred health. We are going to have a Naga Sea Witch versus a Beastmaster, and the Beastmaster is a little caught out here, and it looks like the Demon Hunter will be the one being focused by the Naga Sea Witch. Cool Beast keeping tabs on the Blade Master momentarily until the Blade Master actually gets out of there. We will have a TP staff. This is where I think the Blade Master will try to intercept that Beast Master. Beast Master, even though he, he has higher health, he really can't risk actually fighting that Blade Master head on. Instead, the Cool Beast will be used for the pathing. And yeah, basically both sides have both their heroes just pretty much living on. We are going to go straight to tier 3 for Loliet. He is also going for a double Ancient of Winds, so we will be seeing those dots coming in. Grunts, great surround on that Beastmaster. Unfortunately, Loliet did not have that great of a success either, and we have a 4 Grunt surround. I also heard a archer being an archer being taken down by the Blade Master. TP scroll is going to be used. The staff was used um, a little while ago, so... Wow, being able to kill both the Beastmaster and a four surround or four grunt surround, uh, literally the hardest surround in terms of numbers because four is basically the minimum amount of units you need to actually surround um, a hero, I guess, or maybe any unit in general. Either way, um, you know, was surprised that actually happened. We have a couple of towers being placed down over here and a voodoo lounge. Um, I don't know if Focus is actually thinking of expanding. We will have the dots being revealed, so uh, Focus does know that Loliet is sticking with his mass dot strategy. Well, uh, I'm not sure... I'm not sure the exact like effect of those dots like dots should technically do well against orc units I guess or maybe they don't either way we have a gob uh, not goblin well he is kind of goblin goblin alchemist riding on an ogre we just call him the alchemist I guess we have an alchemist, Nagasiwich, Blade Master versus Demon Hunter and Beast Master. Beast Master is going to get revived very soon. Um, there we go. I don't know. Things look rather well for focus right now, like it always does. Either way, this orange creep camp is going to be cleared out. Uh, what focus would probably like is that. 500 health potion. Gargantuan Sea Turtle is actually going straight after those watchtowers. Not sure if this was the reasoning behind these towers or not, but we shall see. The experience has been gained and the Wand of Mana Stealing has been picked up. Loliet gonna get himself a Goblin Tinker as his third and final hero. So this is rather the weirdest hero compositions um, I've seen in quite some time. Albeit that the Naga, the Alchemist, the Tinker, and the Beastmaster is probably the common uh, heroes you would be seeing from the tavern. On top of the Dark Ranger, the Panda, and arguably the Pit Lord. 
What other heroes are there, now that I think about it? I don't want to look stupid and have just listed every single tavern hero. Oh, hope not. I think I... I think I actually listed all every single tavern hero. No, the Fire Lord was as well. Yeah, I forgot about the Fire Lord. Also, one of the uh, common picks when here, uh, human players are going for tower plays. Alchemist has been taken down. I have no idea what his first ability was. It might have been the Acid Bomb. It could have been the Healing Spray. I just did not see, uh, or at least get the opportunity to see what what it actually was. Meanwhile, the Blade Master is just constantly being controlled here by the dots. We might even have a surround coming in. However, the Blade Master can he cannot win walk out of there. So even though the Blade Master might be able to get plenty of dots, um, oh wow, he will not be able to win walk out of there. Demon Hunter dangerously low. Thankfully, he was preserved by the Tinker. And we might have just constant cyclones coming in from the Blade Master and maybe another surround. Uh, do we have enough mana for a cyclone? I do not think so. Cyclone costs about 200 mana each, and constantly um, putting them out uh, is kind of kind of drained uh, these dots. And not to mention that so many dots have been taken out by the Blade Master himself. Okay, so we have the tiny great hole being placed down here. You can see it's building a little bit more faster, a little bit, m yeah, just uh, just more faster than the. Uh, never mind, just faster, basically, faster than I guess peons would construct it. It's taking a lot of damage during its construction process, but now that it is fully built, um, it will be a little difficult to uh, actually take down for Loliot, especially with his unit composition which is basically mass dots. So we have triple demolishers over here. It's very surprising to see both artillery and a cannon rush. Well not cannon rush but tower rush coming in. So yeah this is this kind of screws with Loliet as he has no way of actually producing the <clears throat> optimum number of artillery to deal with those towers. Uh, he also lost his Ancient of War and I do not I do not think that focus will allow Loliet to actually build or at least maintain a number of ballistas or glaive throwers, whatever they're called. Now focus is mining off two gold mines here, which is not going to bode well for Loliet. Not not one bit at all because this will allow focus to actually go over upkeep because he does have that secondary income. I think three expansions might be a little too excessive. Uh, but, I mean, he has expanded in an aggressive location. He can expand in a more safer location on this gold mine. The problem is that he would have about 15 supply worth of peons. However, it looks like... Oh, it looked like that a lot of peons were in the gold mine actually it was not. Helmet of Valor has been picked up from this Ogre Lord camp that is plus four in his strength and agility which I guess is a good item for the Demon Hunter. Generally I would say uh, agility and intelligence would be better or strength and intelligence. Basically anything with intelligence but the Demon Hunter I, I don't know how well he actually does with strength so yeah anyway focus needs to be careful despite that it's only being it's only dots these dots even if they just keep on focus firing they can do quite a bit of damage seeing that these are unupgraded and prone to take extra damage to magic uh, demolishers which in fact the dots are magic dealing um, units so Loliet looks like he is going to expand to this gold mine over here. I'm not sure if Focus actually realized this and it does not look like he has. He will spot it um, right now however so this might not be well for Loliet. We do have that True Sight Hawk in the air and we will have the triple Cyclones over here. Focus does not have any of his, uh, any of his army over here. Where is the main Where's his main army? Is it basically just demolishers over here? I 
hopefully it's not because if it is then despite Loliat taking constant damage he could easily just turn this around because I mean focus doesn't have that many units so we have chemical rage on that alchemist still not sure what his first ability was I think it might be that healing spray not not healing spray um, uh, was acid bomb basically to DPS a hero down I guess or maybe a specific unit although I don't I don't see really the reason to actually do that against dots so Loliet is completely exposed to focus right now due to that watch award focus managed to actually take both watch awards uh, if people didn't know that will provide quite a bit of good insight around the map especially now that it's turning into um, probably considered late game after 16 maybe 17 minutes when the gold mine is about to run out uh, the gold mine should run out mm, I'm guessing very soon I don't know three minutes maybe four uh, goblin tinker nearing level three as well as the beastmaster uh, the item is going to be a lion horn of the stormwind obviously the troll warlords drop one of the best items in common maps uh, plus one armor aura I'm not sure if that is that good especially with unarmored guys like the dots here either way um, plus 12 cause of attack from I guess this ogre lord camp yeah it does look like it is the same tier um, item so it is plus 12 on that blade master and it looks like focus took a third mining base this is generally not something you would want to go up against especially if you're a night elf player who is constantly under siege threat and is a little afraid of actually going over upkeep so I, I still don't know where most of that supply is tending towards but it looks like we have a lot of troll bat riders I also have a third expansion coming down for Loliet. Well, not third expansion, third base coming down. It is second expansion. Um, I guess the majority of the supply goes towards the peons here. We're going to have a mass uh, TP coming back, and one Dimash will be taken down. I believe that was the second one. And we will have a TP scroll on the Blade Master. The, the Alchemist needs to be careful not to get out of the TP scroll range. So focus, despite earlier being in a good position, it does not look like that he will be able to maintain it for long. Or at least that's what I view it as. Those dots are going to gradually become a little scary here. Mass Troll Bat Riders, I'm assuming Napalm, has been upgraded. So these guys are mainly purposed for anti-building instead of anti-air and whether or not this is going to be good for Loliet, I do not think so. The gold mine might be targeted right here. It could be the Ancient of Winds. could be the Moonwells. But to be fairly honest, Loliet, um can always just replace them. The gold mine seems a little bit more important. It looks like the... Ooh, what is actually going to get targeted here? It should be something that can't be unrooted because I, I'm thinking that's when the burning effect actually disables itself. Oh, oh what do we have here? It looks like a pocket, pocket factory from the back uh, is, under siege. is actually... Oh, is, it, is that a TB scroll? That is a TB scroll. Um, <laughs> I guess you could argue that was a little excessive right there. But the Tree of Life uh, is going to get attacked by those troll bat riders. This is rather <laughs> rather odd. I have not seen mass troll bat riders um, played I guess this year. Hell I don't rem even remember it last year but apparently that is generally a thing or it might be a thing that Focus is actually trying on because of just conventional plans or strategies just being overused so much. Demon Hunter has been taken down at level 3 I unfortunately did not catch a glimpse of that as I was focused on those bat riders dealing damage than anything else. Now, focus will spot that Loliet has placed down another expansion, 
Meanwhile, I find myself seeing that Focus has placed down a third expansion, so he's basically mining off three gold mines. He is about to lose this one very soon, but even though, it looks like Focus is going to expand again to this gold mine, and I did not expect this, despite it being such a close spawn game, that it will drag on so much. Now, the Bat Riders, despite dealing quite a bit of damage are going to die very quickly and if they I guess attempt to run away the dots can always change the crow form and chase them out now we have Loliet going oh wow the tree of attorney is taking a lot of damage as well the goblin tinker has I guess been preserved back to this main base we will have uh, what was that couple of troll bat riders taking care of hippogriffs right now and there we go the goblin tinker is going to take quite a bit of, quite a bit of damage we did have those cluster rockets briefly stunning uh, those units right there the demon hunter if you did not remember has been taken down earlier and there the altar of elders actually has been taken down by those demolishers earlier so therefore the demon hunter can't really revive himself and the problem about going for the tavern revives here is that focus kind of controls the middle right here. The Wisp is able to revive the Demon Hunter. It looks like he can maybe afford it, I guess, but I think he wants to invest his resources on rebuilding his infrastructure. Even though he did um, retain his double Ancient of Winds, he lost himself an Ancient of Wonders. He lost himself the Gold Mine, which, I mean, 600 gold, that seems like a waste. Focus has mined out his first base, but he ha he is mining off one, two, three, and very soon four. And you can see right here that Focus's macro is actually pretty horrible. That's generally because you can't really make use of uh, the gold that effectively, especially if you're mining off four bases. And who knows, we might have just a hundred supply army stomping over a fifty supply army very soon because focus he I guess he can pretty much afford to do that and now what'd be more crazy is, is if that focus actually took down the rest of the gold mines and claimed it for himself would be kinda crazy anyway Loliet, this it looks like this tree of life is going to take quite a bit of damage I not sure if it needed to uproot itself because help was going to be here soon anyway it just seems like such a delay on the entanglement of the gold mine I think those dots I guess they can risk themselves going to crow form and just going after those bat riders even though those bat riders are I guess made for anti-air combat just sending them down one by one seems like I guess a good choice who knows I just wow should be a little careful here as fairy fire still able to see those troll bat riders and qu for quite a long time um, funnily enough demon hunter looks like he was tavern revived right over here by the uh, druid of town it looks like the main base has been taken out for lol yet it looks like his uh, that looks a little weird right now I did not really expect this this difference of scale. Wow. Anyway, we have one troll bat right to try and do some funny stuff over here. The demon hunter is going to try and defend this. He does have the orb of venom. Surprisingly enough, he's only level three, and the three heroes from Focus are actually going to do something over here. Um, frost frost arrows, we might have a purge proc. Not going to gonna hap not gonna happen as the cyclones will be underway. I would imagine the one of the smaller units, or one of the smaller heroes, will be focused right now. The Demon Hunter has been taken out at level 3 again. The Beastmaster, he will have the, the Frenzy Beast right now. Does he have a Thunderhawk or does he have a level 1 bear? I believe the bear would be a little bit more, um, I guess, efficient in terms of mana. Just because of how, how much beef that... Loliad actually needs in his army composition. Altar of Elders taken down. This is just horrible for Loliad. Usually I would say that Troll Batriders just don't work, but 
I mean, Loliath's being held back so much that Focus is just pumping out Troll Batriders with two bestiaries right now. He's building a totem. Double turn totems. Are we actually going to see turns in this game? I have no idea. Focus is sitting on almost 5,000 gold. His lumber could use some improvements. Unfortunately, there's no goblin lab uh, laboratory, so we can't hire any goblin shredders. And I don't think Focus would actually spend that much on getting those peasants or peons to harvest lumber. Now, the Nagasi Witch is probably one of the squishiest heroes out of the tavern so needs to be a little careful right there especially with the armor reduction from the fairy charm or fairy fire so right now oh man I don't know so let's look at Loliet's position right now he's only mining off one base currently his the only the base he is mining off is currently being entangled. This is not good. We are going to have those turns underway. We have Pulverize being upgraded. That is basically a chance for an AoE attack. Uh, when those turns attack, I'm just... Wow. Turns, really? You gonna play that? I would not expect this. I am actually have to make note of this game because it's just so I guess you could say interesting or just methodically played out Moonwall is going to be taking down Loliet is currently upside down in supply just taking down taking these down would be more catastrophic he's got one Moonwall he's got two he's got one over here as well wisps are going to be moving out probably back to this main base he is finally mining off that gold mine, but I mean, Focus still has about f four mining uh, gold, four mining four gold mines. Blah, words so hard. And this, actually, that's not even the last creep camps. I'm surprised that um, these ones over here haven't been touched yet. We have a little bit of a stun coming in from those cluster rockets. The Tinkerer, I mean, once you get those those cluster rockets, they can really mess up like massive an army. Unfortunately, that's not what Focus is going for because he's solely relying on his trio right here. Level 5 Blade Master, level 4 Naga Sewish, level 3 Alchemist. Hell, even one Wisp kill will be able to give him that level 4, I believe. Now, the Troll Bat Riders, these guys seem a little suicidal, but I think Focus, I guess he's thinking that he can afford to lose some. Demon Hunter is very close to level 4. That one kill would have given him that level 4. Beastmaster is also very close to level 5 as well. Just one kill might be able to give him that as well. There we go. Actually, the Beastmaster did not get to that level 5. He is one point off, in fact. There we go with the Thunderhawk, trying to go after that Naga Sea Witch. Um, Demon Hunter has been taken down by someone, or just focus in general. Um, there we go with another TP scroll once again. And the Hawk has been taken out by the Suicidal Bat Rider. So how many turns do we have so far? We're going to go turn Bloodlust. This is rather odd. Turns shamans and troll witch doctors to be fairly honest this is definitely not the meta game bloodless turn turns right now they have increased movement speed and increased attack speed um, they are very difficult to kill and they are such heavy hitters especially with that increased DPS with the increased attack speed um, the only thing that would have I guess ice the cake a little bit was if that shadow uh, spirit walkers were added to this army mix because they would have the ability to revive those turn chieftains, uh, not turn chieftains, those turns back to full health despite being killed off. One has finally been, uh, finally bit the dust. We have the healing wards right now. Um, 
I guess, cheekily placed at the back of this Tree of Eternity, so it's very difficult to see and actually take down, so it's it's going to be impossible, or literally impossible for Lolliet at this stage without losing his concentration. We will have, uh, I guess, I have no idea. This is just so weird for me right now. Tree of Eternity is unfortunately taking most of the space in the screen. Goblin Tinker finally reached level 5, but I'm not sure what good he shall do. We'll be able to take care of a turn, surprisingly enough. Demon Hunter has finally been taken down. Beastmaster has also been taken down as well. Another cluster rocket coming down on the turns right now, but the Blade Master might be able to assassinate this Tinker right now. Health Potion. Was that a health potion or was that a moonwell? Whoever knows, because that is going to be game. Well, this was the most interesting game I've actually casted in quite some time, and possibly it might actually be the only one from this tournament. Either way, I do apologize for not uploading that regularly, despite AWC probably being finished very soon. Uh, I'll just do it afterwards. I mean, I've got, I guess, a reasonable amount of time. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this particular game. I know I did. I'll see you guys again next time.